Masks and social distancing were two of the big rules when children returned to in-person learning this year. Starting Monday, students in the Central Buck School District do not need to wear their face coverings. The board made that decision this week after a tense meeting. Kimberly Davis breaks down why some believe it's time and why others feel it's a bad idea. The epidemiology, the science of cases in Bucks County does not require the need for a mask mandate. Those are the words many parents had been waiting to hear the Bucks County Health Director say for months now. It was a contentious school board meeting, but Wednesday evening, the Central Bucks Board of School Directors voted 4 to 3, allowing mask usage to be optional for students. You have said that it is safe to return the choice to the parents. And I just will always choose to give parents back the choice when it comes to their health. And their Starting Monday, masks will be optional in all school buildings, campuses, and buses. Though there was a lot of support for parents to have the option, some parents are disappointed with the board's decision. Most of the kids, especially in elementary and middle school, um, cannot get vaccinated. Um, it's not an option for them right now. Um, the CDC's recommendation is that anybody who's not vaccinated uh, wear a mask, especially when they're inside um, in close proximity. Larissa Hopwood has a 12-year-old son who attends Doyle Elementary. He received his second vaccine Thursday, but he will not be fully vaccinated by the time masks are optional for students. The vaccination isn't going to kick in for any of the people who are 12 years old, uh, between 12 and 16, um, for another couple of weeks. I feel like this is, it's heartbreaking that they're um, creating the situation that could really put our kids at risk. The district will continue to follow other safety protocols like remaining a minimum of three feet apart and cleaning, but those in support of the move say it's about time. Children are not the protectors of adults. It's time we step into our roles and be brave for our kids. It's time to take the mask off of our kids now and going forward. Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.